Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This video is working with basic documents. It'll be open, close, file, save as, um, save and showing you how to generally open them. Now when you first start Word and it opens up like it is, notice up here you've got document 1. Now if I close that document 1 it'll go document 2, document 3, document 4 and so on and so forth and then when I close Word and reopen Word it'll go back to document 1 but this is a brand new document now basically what you've got to understand to close a document there's various ways you can do it you can go to file and close that will also close it you can click up on here and close that now if you close this this will close the document and the application window just let me show you what I'm trying to explain at the moment you've got the word application word application open and you've got a document one now if I do control W notice the document one has disappeared but Microsoft Word is still open because you've got effectively a window in a window. If I do control new and for new, notice now we've got the word and the document to open. Now the difference and the major difference is if I close the document on this button it will close, it will ask me first if I want to save because I've just done some work on it. But when I close this one notice I'll say I don't want to save it closes the actual application window as well so just be a little bit careful with that what I tend to do is if I want to close the document I use control W and that closes the document not the actual application window as well so it leaves the window open basically the application window open now when you're creating a new document you just literally you can either uh, just open word document one now let's imagine that's gone so that's disappeared and then the new document now control n for new would give you a brand new document control n that gives you it document two okay now the other ways of doing it we could go down here to file and new now here you can open a blank document, you can open a blog post, recent templates that you've had open, uh, sample templates, my templates if your company's got templates or you've got templates set up or from an existing template yeah down here you can do the office templates from the Microsoft Office so you can do calendars, certificates, charts and so on and so forth yeah very good they're all really good but it's having a little play with them basically I'm just gonna say a blank document so I'll just double click on that there you go blank document notice document 3 now when you type your data into it okay and you just type a little bit of data in notice now we need to save it because it hasn't got a, a, a document hasn't got a name so we need to save it with a name now you have to go to file save as now when it comes up with save as now all you have to do is find the location that you want to put the actual document in now I'm just going to put mine on my desktop in my office 2010 and then uh, the word documents okay now in here I'll just call this um, save test yeah so save test now I'll just say save and then that goes down and that saves now if I close this document file and close that's it now it's gone but it hasn't gone off the hard drive when I want to open that document I click on this little button here in the quick access toolbar or I go to file and open depending which one I want to go it doesn't matter which way I go through it look they both work now you go to your word uh, your desktop office 10 word 2010 and you find your save test you double click it notice that documents open now what we're going to do now we're going to just do a little bit of 
changing the text so I'm just going to change these colors of the text so you can see what I'm talking about yeah now what we're going to do in one second we're going to show you the difference there now what is the difference between save and save as now save overwrites the changes so if I was now to go to file save it would overwrite the original document and keep this copy that I've got open as it is so you wouldn't see you you wouldn't see the original document you would just see this new changes if I go to file save as what this will do this will keep the original document save test and it will keep this copy also right so we'll just say uh, now then what happens is now I will close this document file close if I go now to file open I'm just going to click on that notice now we've got the two documents we've got the save test which was the original document yeah and we've also got the save test color which is in there now if you just go there just so I can show you yeah can you see him? save test now if I just put them so I can try and show you what I'm talking about we'll put that one there and that one there yeah just so you can see it on the screen so basically the first save I did I give it a file name called save test there is the document then I made the changes went to file save as and notice I kept that copy as well a fantastic way of working within the word you know sometimes you want to change the actual documents appearance a little bit but keep the original as well that's when you would want to use the save as rather than the save now if you wanted uh, I'll just get rid of that one for now we'll close that one down if, oh, if you wanted to add a picture into this so I'm just going to stick a little picture in here somewhere it doesn't really matter where insert don't worry about the actual picture I'm sticking in um, that's just purely for the uh, joy of this now what I'm going to do here just to show you okay I want to say that I want to keep this picture yeah there's that and we'll just stick that in the middle yeah there we go to just take it down a little bit more just so you can now what we imagine what we want to do we want to keep this document okay yeah that's it we want to keep this document looking exactly as it is but I don't want to keep the just the colors I just want to save the changes all I do on this one is I just did that button there which is save or I do control s for save or I just go to file and save now what happens here this now is the new color document it's I've just overwrote the original three and it's just got the picture added to it as well so when we close that down control W or file close and you go to the open dialog box notice that I've got the save color when I open it it'll have the picture in it because I saved the changes is that okay now then this this is only the basic stuff that you need to know and that's fine now what we're going to do here some people will say to you oh open me a new file okay you can't open a new file you've got to create a new file so what you do is you go to file and new like we've already done you say whatever template you want and that is creating a new file you would type your, your name you know so just let's say we'll say Dave um, test will be fine and then you go to file save as there you go you're about to create a new document 
yeah is that okay now if you want to open an existing file it's just literally file open or you click on that box I'll just say open for now or you could do control O for open and that will open the dialog box as well and then you open up the document it's in there that's it for today I'll just go to file close for you on that one oh no I'll show you this one don't forget if you close this one it closes the application as well okay and that just shuts it down I would like to thank you very much for watching um, don't forget to check my other videos out and if you subscribe with us don't forget we do do request for subscribers so if you subscribe and you want to know how to do tables or mail merge just subscribe drop us a line and I'll do your video just as soon as we can thank you very much for your time bye